1957, London's mighty River Thames was declared biologically dead. Now, nearly 70 years later, over 3,500 seals call it home. In this video, I'm diving into how they made this miraculous comeback, how they cracked the river's lock system, and of course, trying to find some nice juicy seals myself. And for that, I'm going to need a boat. Right, so I'm just back at my boat now. And um, yeah, it should be a great day out here looking for seals. It's kind of looking for a bit of a needle in a haystack, but who knows, maybe I'll get lucky. I'll show you all the other wildlife that I see along the way as well. Hopefully get some cool birds or something to show you all. There's Hampton Court Palace over there. Beautiful place. Might put in an offer, see if I can live there for a bit. Once on the, the WhatsApp group for the island that I live on and my little houseboat, they did report that the seal was sat up there and me and Molly scuttled down as fast as our legs would carry us. But it wasn't there by the time we got back, which was a bit of a bummer. This is so chill. What a way to spend your Tuesday morning having a laugh. I'm on autopilot right now, so hopefully I'm going the right way. Hard to tell when you look through the camera. There's his urban friend look. Just got done with this graffiti. I just saw a grey wagtail go and land over there somewhere. And they're a beautiful bird, so I'll go down there and try and get a shot of him. That was a nice little find. That's probably the coolest one yet. Um, but now I'm going to head back out onto the main bit of the Thames and get cracking looking for those seals again. But before I could continue the seal search, an even more incredible animal zipped by. The kingfisher flew past. Fuck! <gasps> no way. I should just about be able to zoom in on that. That will be the best animal that we see today. That was amazing. That was so cool. It's a shame I didn't get a shot. But if I know kingfishers, and I think I do, there's a good chance it's perched somewhere down this little estuary. So I'm going to keep my eyes open and let's see if we can get a shot. Holy sh what did I say? What did I say? I can't believe this. That's literally the best bird you could hope to see down here. Oh my god, it's a nice shot as well. I'm so happy with this. Wow. I honestly still can't believe that. I've lived on the Thames now for about three years and only seen kingfishers a handful of times. They're incredibly rare and elusive to see around here. So to get some crispy shots for you all for this video, I'm over the moon. Even if I don't see the seal now, this trip's been a win. But let's be honest, you're mainly here for the seals. And to understand how they returned, we need to talk about what happened to the Thames. Prior to the Industrial Revolution, the Thames was home to tons of marine life, including seals, porpoises, and even whales. But then, from the 18th century onwards, that all changed. Heavy pollution from industry, sewage, and fertilizers caused the river's oxygen levels to drop so low that by 1957, it was declared biologically dead. But then, from the 1960s onwards, major cleaning projects started to take place, including sewer upgrades such as Thames Tideways improvements. Environmental regulations also started to be implemented, which gradually improved the water quality. Slowly but surely, oxygen levels recovered and fish populations rebounded, which created conditions suitable for other marine life to swim on back to. The first official seal counts happened much later in 2013, when 500 harbour and 200 grey seals were recorded. Then, the following year, ZSL surveys found 679 harbour and 449 grey seals, showing a juicy increase in both populations. What smashing news, eh? The most recent counts in 2024 recorded 599 harbour and 2,988 grey seals, which just goes to show how impressively nature can bounce back when given the chance. They can now be seen as far up the river as Hampton Court, where I'm conducting my search. And to get there, they have to navigate a couple of locks, but we'll get to that slice of craziness in a short while. Now, as there's so many knocking about, surely I can find one myself. Let's get a bit of speed, shall we? Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, now we're flying. So I don't get that much range in this little boat, I can only really go a few miles. So I've come back to near where I started now and this is kind of the hot spot for the seal. Because we're up by the weir a lot of the fish seem to get bottlenecked in this sort of area. So I'm just going to float around for a bit, film a few more birds and hopefully see a little seal pop up. Unfortunately I didn't manage to spot any seals on this day, but sometimes things come to you as soon as you stop looking. So someone on that island chat has just reported that the seal's down at a beach local to us. So we're scuttling down there to hopefully finally see it. Molly and Finch have seen it before, but me and Ren haven't. So hopefully today's finally the day. But it was about half an hour ago it was reported to be in there, but there he's. That's him. He's there. He's wiggling, Daddy. He is wiggling. Apparently he just had a big old fish, so I think it's just Sunday he's been enjoying himself. Yeah. He's nice, isn't he? Yeah. Do you like him? Yeah. I was absolutely ecstatic to finally see this big old lump. If you're new to my channel, I'm finding every animal in the UK. I've already found a harbour seal, but this was my first grey seal sighted, which means it's a new species for the quest. So that means I'm up to 177 out of 378, which isn't far off halfway. At one point, he seemed to look right at me, and our souls connected for the briefest of moments. I felt like I could understand him somehow, and in that moment he said, Remember to like and subscribe. His words, not mine. Anyway, this was an incredible sighting, but what's even more incredible is how they managed to get this far up the river in the first place. As I mentioned earlier, a handful of seals have learned how to navigate the river's locks. The first one they come to is at Teddington, and then there's another one in Molesy. Not long after getting my first sighting of the local seal, I was lucky enough to spot it again doing a bit of sunbathing on just the other side of Molesy Lock, where I managed to get this shot of it. Pretty much as soon as he heard the gates opening, he started oozing his way back into the river, which shows that he's familiar with the sounds and knows when he needs to get in there to get down to the other side. Unfortunately, he didn't surface whilst in the lock, so I was unable to get a shot of him in there myself. But one of my lovely neighbours was kind enough to send me these videos, of a different occasion when she saw him swimming around waiting to go up. I think this rare behaviour is absolutely amazing. It shows great ingenuity, adaptability and really displays just how intelligent these animals are. What awesome creatures. I really wanted to get some shots of him swimming around myself for this video and by a complete stroke of luck when me and Finch were heading out for a little boat ride this happened. Seal! Finch! He's right there! What? Can you see him? Finch it's the seal! What the heck? He's right under our boat! It's fine buddy! Oh my god he's going under our boat! That's crazy where's he gone? Did you see him Finch? Is he? Yeah. I can't see him. Just Who's in the water, Finch? A seal. Oh, yeah. There he is again. Oh, the seal, the seagull's mobbing him. That's crazy. This is nuts. Look, he's coming, Finch. Whoa. What's the seagull want to do with him? Are they friends, do you think? Yeah. He's back. There he is. Wow! Finch, this is so cool. Look at his little nose, he's coming to sniff us. Woo -hoo -hoo. This is amazing. It's amazing. So I may not have ever found one when I was actually looking, but the seals of the Thames found me anyway. I count myself very lucky to share this stretch of the river with this guy. It's quite incredible to live alongside so many animals, and a big chungus of a seal like this one is definitely the icing on the cake. I really hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.